Okay, let's uh, try the new autopilot feature, the European build version. So there's a few tiny differences from the US version, but uh, we activate it the same way, just a double tap, and it should feed her off the pedals. It's a little bit twisty country lane here, and it's wet, and there's leaves on the road, so we'll see how it handles it. This one was no problem. It's a little bit of a sharper bend coming up ahead here. Oh, it's fighting it a little bit. It's a sharp turn, so I'm keeping prepared. And I see, oh, ooh, 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 yeah, it's doing it. No worries. That's another sharp turn here. Oh, we're good. We're good. Yep, it handled that beautifully. Very nice and smooth, actually. Surprising. Now it says to hold the steering wheel, so I'm just gonna put oh, slight pressure. That was too much. So we reactivate it. Like that. But normally you just need to put a little bit of pressure on it, so it recognizes that you haven't fallen asleep or anything like that. Nice new graphical interface. Oh, now we see it's lost one of the lines here. Still, still seems to get enough information and gets it back sporadically. As you can tell, the roads are wet and we get a little sunlight, sun glare, so that might be why it's hard for it to uh, to read the lines properly. But it doesn't seem to be a problem. Well, that works surprisingly well as well. So let's see. There is some sharper turns coming up. And that might be, might prove a little too much. Let's see, what's what? Well, oh, handles the oncoming traffic well. Saw another clip on YouTube where a car swerved into the opposite lane. I haven't detected any tendencies like that at all. It just tracks true. No, feel no inclinations to, to turn on the other side of the road. So I don't know what happened there, but I think that might be a, have been a one-off. Takes me to hold the wheel again. Now it's got the guardrail in sensor range. And uh, let's see, it's a, I think we're nearing the sharp returns now. Yep, there we go. I'm not gonna slow down. I, I you normally would do that. I'm just gonna ooh water pot and I'm holding the steering wheel gently and just seeing how, how it handles this. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. Oy. Correcting. Still okay. Still okay. And ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. I was pushing it, I think, but it made it made it. Uh, I think we found uh, close to the limits of the autopilot system zone. Uh, uh, twisty back road like this going a little too fast into the corner it'll, it'll be a little overwhelmed uh, it still makes it. it didn't disengage just say take over immediately or anything like that but it felt like it was it was uh, stumbling a little bit but still a very impressive system uh, and like Elon says this is not intended for this kind of road anyway but if you choose to use it it works just fine okay now we're back on a Nice two-lane road in the country, cruising at 90 kph. Plenty of information in the system, so we're just running smoothly. Some turns coming up, so I figured test how it does that. And then we try it on a smaller back road as well. See what's what when there's no properly visible lane markings and making it a little bit harder for the autopilot system, but it really is working tremendously well. And you can change the uh, new apps here on the side, you just push the button and you can have media, you can have your uh, energy, like on the other side, you can see that, the trips app, and there's the new car status app, you can see the uh, tire pressure, looks good. I think I want I want the trips back. A little bumpy. All right.
right, now we're coming up to some uh, a right-hander and a left-hander. Let's see how we handle that. Nice, smooth. And left. Oncoming traffic. And a right-hander again coming up there, so that's, that's good. No drama so far. Keeps the sensor on the guardrail, nice and centered on the road. It's a little wet and there's sunlight, glare, doesn't seem to bother the sensors at all. Works fine. Okay, now we're in a little bit more trafficated area. It's a red light coming up. Should be slowing down. Right, 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 right. So, and light just turned green. Keep on going. That's fine. A little too close to the uh, edge there. Okay, now it's adjusted. That's good. And now we're coming up to a roundabout, so I'll have to take over manually again. So now we're up cruising at uh, on the freeway. Nice two-lane freeway behind some trucks, so we can see that. The autopilot has, uh, the cruise control radar has picked up the truck and keeps us at a nice distance. There's a car passing us in the blind spot just now. Should be detected. There we go. And we'll see how it works with the auto steer. Oh, oh parallel. No, not parallel. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Switched lanes. Accelerates up to my preset speed of 120 kph. So we should just cruise by these three trucks and then make a lane change back into my own lane again. Oh, there's lots of trucks. <laughs> right, but the car has detected the other car in front of me, so now we're following that. So we have plenty of information for the autopilot. No worries, no need for any hands or feet or anything on controls. Doesn't even prompt me to keep my hands on the wheel, so I could probably go for a long time on a freeway like this without having to touch the steering wheel at all. speeding up behind me, so I'm just going to lane change again, like that, disengage the stock, car passing me, like a model parker. and I'm catching up to new cars and trucks again here, but that works like a charm. Highway driving, it's absolutely no issues, uh, no drama, just cruising.